This is Senior Ma Medical Officer Nicole Brennan transmitting ship wide. We need more help. We don't have the resources to deal with this many cases. Nobody would tell us what's happening. These wounds. We are not equipped to deal with this. Get up to the table! Hold him! Nurse, you hold him down! And record him. That was Nicole, right? I can't tell from here when that log was made. I'm sure she's around here somewhere. Anybody hear me? My name is Eileen Fisk. I just woke up in here and everybody was gone. I don't know what's happening. Why did they all leave? I'm going to try to find someone. If you can hear this, please come for me. I hear you scratching in the wall. Hello? Who's there? Are, are you a doctor? Why is everybody... Wait. I know you. You're Harris, the prisoner from the colony. You killed that nurse. Help. Somebody help me. Please. Please. Violence and even murder also indicate extreme paranoia. Dr. Mercer has advised that I bring some of the affected on board for study. Dr. Wellen, the planet site psychiatrist, has reported that his own analysis has been fruitless. I'm hesitant to rely on Dr. Mercer at this point, but I need his expertise. We need solutions, and we need them quickly.
know it's received, and they look good. Thank God. I'll start accessing the captain's records right now. Head to the tram station, and I'll contact you there. I'm going to find out what the hell happened to this ship. One of them found a way down to the captain's nest. I managed to contain it in a damaged escape pod. Lifting executive lockdown now. I found the deck logs. Whatever is happening around here, it came from the planet when they cracked it open. It spread to the colony and reached the ship. Isaac, this isn't an infection. It's some form of alien life. Shit, we've got bigger problems. The ship's engines are offline and our orbit is decaying. Get over to the engineering deck ASAP while I stay here and figure out what the problem is. Two problems, and we're working on borrowed time here. First, there's no fuel in the engines. Second, the gravity centrifuge is offline, which means there's a couple of trillion tons of rock pulling us down. I need you to get that centrifuge operational. Refuel the main engine and fire it up so I can stabilize the ship's orbit. Personal log. Acting Chief Engineer Jacob Temple. It's been two days since they pulled that planet open, since my captain died. The panic, the riots, they were nothing compared with what came after. Our friends, our co-workers, started coming back. Changed, coming back to kill us, drag us away. Rucker disappeared this morning, and I have to assume he's dead. My crew, they're starting to crack. I'm trying to keep an eye on them, but right now I have bigger problems. We're hemorrhaging fuel, and the primary engine is laboring. Danvers and I are going to try to reach the fuel depot to see if we can fix it. Temple out. What in hell is going on here? Danvers! It's Henderson! He's crazy! Pulling his own teeth out. Anderson, for God's sake. Oh, God. Is he dead? Relax. He's alive. But he hit that door pretty hard. Man, why would he do something like that? I don't get it.
sequence activated. Shut it, Danvers! Shut it! Engineering log. Temple reporting. Someone has shut off the fuel lines to the primary engine and damaged the valves in the process. They need to be repaired before I can reopen them, but we're running out of time. With the engine offline, orbit decay will begin in less than ten hours. I just can't understand who would do this. If it's one of those crazy unitologist bastards, I'll break their neck. Shut up, Danvers! Help me with the tools. Temple out. <laughs> 